Aloha. Um, so as I said, aloha, I mean like, welcome, hello. Um, and that's because I do um, a lot of my research in Hawaii, hence the Hawaiian shirt and the Hawaiian lace that I'm wearing. And I got it on the island of Oahu, um, which is where I do my research on solar energy, because Oahu is a really great um, case study location for understanding how small islands can transition sustainably through renewable energy um, alternatives like solar energy. I visited Oahu to really speak and interview um, government officials, policymakers, even solar energy retailers to really understand how did Oahu actually get to where it is in terms of island solar energy development. Um, and the reason I interviewed all these different stakeholders was to actually create a narrative of what was really hap happening on Oahu versus me just interviewing one person. So I think the island narrative is important to understand how all these different actors come together and make Oahu's solar story a story that all islands could relate to really. From my experience researching in Oahu, um, policies transition as just a smaller part of the wider um, energy transition that the energy system would go through. Um, so I think the government um, policymakers in Trinidad should not be afraid of having policies change, whether it means the policy itself um, changes within that design or the policy transitions to a completely different policy. Um, they should be open to change because change is a part of transitioning. Um, the second lesson I think I really gained from Oahu was a policy can actually create um, inequities among societal members. Um, and it's really interesting because solar energy is a, is a renewable energy. You think it's sustainable, but at the same time, the policy makes it unsustainable socially. Um, and you can have a situation where high income households get solar first and then low income households are left out of that or just as well lower income households subsidizing solar for high income residents. So just designing the policy um, sensitively to social issues, um, I think would be the second one. The whole reason I'm even like really doing this research is because I am from the island nation of Trinidad and Tobago, um, and there is this real sense of um, patriotism surrounding what I do, and that's why I'm really invested in island energy research and now looking at Oahu as this really great case study reference for how small island states can transition to renewable energy using solar energy as my um, resource example. I think it's through that I'm looking and comparing both islands um, because Trinidad is unlike any of a small island developing state um, on the planet really in that it has been producing oil and gas for almost a century or even longer actually. Um, so it's really a very unique case study. Um, and now looking at Oahu, I have a chance to compare and contrast and see what different policy initiatives can be unrolled in Trinidad. Um, of course, bearing in mind that each island is different. Um, but yeah, just looking at the different policies that I can learn from and seeing best practices um, yeah, just looking at those different sort of things. I feel as if a lot of times the issues of islands or the concept of what people may have of an island is very skewed. And I think a lot of people also believe that islands are just places they go for vacation and then they go back. My thing about island research is that there are actual people living on these islands and they have the same um, problems, some, in some cases even worse problems than other people do have. And it's easy to forget that so, I mean, such a beautiful place. When you think of islands, you think of sun, sea, and sand. Um, there aren't people living there, but they do live there. And for me, when I go to international conferences, like in Australia, Morocco, or wherever, um, I do try to let people know that islands matter and that what happens on islands matter. Um, and especially when you're thinking about that develop, developing country divide, it's always as if there's seemingly aid coming into islands or developed country ideas coming into islands, but at the same time, should also, islands should also try um, to work together. So it's almost like an intra-island solution, really.